Hello everyone, this is Lorraine and today I'm coming to you with a stamping plate demo of the CC and CC image plates that I just recently hauled and this is jumbo plate number, jumbo plate set number two. And this is plate number 10 and all the plates come with a plastic film over them that you just grab at the corner and pull down and it comes off in one nice clean piece and so let me go ahead and get started and I will just you know show the plate a little bit up close so this is plate number 10 and I'll just do that as I stamp each some of the images on each plate okay so let me go ahead and I'm definitely going to do this Aztec like face here because that one was one of the reasons why I wanted this particular plate because I don't have anything quite like it. And that picks up nicely. Oh, it didn't I wait it too long. And again, I did not apply apply it very thick. Um, that little mini bottle is hard to get polish out of there, so I'm gonna use this sinful shine and wisp. There we go, that one is a much cleaner. And there you go. And that stamps perfectly Ooh, I'm so pleased with these plates I just did my demo of the stamping plate set number one and was very very pleased oh, that one didn't pick up which does happen even with regular plates or some of the more expensive brands of plates and also when you're using regular polish and then just working quickly is key with stamping in general and sometimes rolling is better than um, pressing which it missed a little bit here at the edge but that one that's the area where it's kind of bevel, the beveling is, so it could be just that. Let me try to make sure my area is level. So I'm gonna try that one one more time. That edge seems to not want to pick up at the very top. And it could be. Hmm. It could be just that image. Let me try that. Let me try my Conad. And it doesn't pick up any better so that image is not quite working very well um, so we'll just see at least the first one the main image that I saw the one the Aztec face that one worked really well it's the main image that I wanted off of this and that one it picked up but it kind of stuck to the paper which the store envy stamper the surface is a lot squishier and obviously i guess a little tackier so it's been like i've been having it stick to the plate some so i'm going to try that one one more time because everything else picked up really nicely except for there's a little space in the face Let 
one that picked up pretty nicely. Oh, didn't get the head. And that one's actually a little bit sheer. So this player having a little bit more problems this set than I did with the first set. And I don't know what it is if it's these ones that are at the top. That picks up nicely. That one stamps perfectly. So it could be a number of things, but um, it did pick up initially, but the way I, my other stamper was very, very sticky. So I'm gonna try like these little coffee beans or what looks like coffee. I need to try those words next. And that picks up perfectly. Stamps just as perfectly. So I'm gonna try the words because sometimes words can be difficult or give you problems just because of the script that is used and the fact that it's thin lines. That picks up perfectly. Stamps just as perfectly. So I'm gonna try there's some more words here at the bottom that are very, very fine and in cursive. It says, I, looks like it says I love you in multiple languages. That one did not scrape as well. And it seems like some of the ones that are at the corner areas like I've been having difficulty with like I can tell that my scrape isn't good because it doesn't like it leaves a lot left on the plate like if you see there in the middle yeah like right in here it didn't like it's not scraping clean um, for some reason and it could be the angle or bend of the plate. So that was number 10. This next one, I'm gonna have to go quickly because my battery's about, because I got eight more minutes. And this is number 11. I'm just gonna try a couple in here. These skulls, I definitely wanna try. For some reason, skulls generally always give people problems, no matter what plate. That picked up perfectly and stamped just as perfectly. I'm gonna try that one there because it has like a big area. And there's another face on this one. Oh, and that one I scraped, you can see the divot Yeah, these with these wide areas are just ones that are going to give issues, which are issues that are not in common to other brands. And that stamped pretty well. Okay. This is plate number 12. So I'm gonna try this one with the text milk natural milk product because that's a lot of text 
And again, it's got one of those bold areas that, that's the only thing about that everything else is stamping well, except for the ones that have those like really bold areas like these that I'm gonna try here. And that one actually works better because the lines are vertical. So the ones like that, I should have probably probably scraped in the other direction. Let me try that one. You kind of want to go with the lines. That picked up nicely, other than the blotch of excess polish. So, okay, that was number 12. And this is number 9. This one has a lot of fine dots, so I definitely want to try this Band-Aid. Picked up nicely, transferred nicely. I'm going to try these envelopes with hearts and wings, and again it's on a corner, and that one didn't scrape. Ugh. So it seems, which actually it picked up not too bad. Let me try that one. That picked up really nicely. So that picked up really nice. It's plate number eight. Okay, I'm going to try that one there. And it also could be that the angle in which that picked up really nice. The angle in which you are scraping may make a difference. Especially with the ones that are at the top. So this has some words. This just says, hi, hello, it's me. That comes out perfectly. Stamps great. Let's try this one. I'm going that way because of the direction of the lines. And again, it's one at the corner. Those seem to be problematic, but it picks up pretty nicely. And then this is the last one, plate number seven. So this one, there were some words on there. Yes, yeah, small, cute. That one has some words, so let's try that one. That picked up perfectly. And yeah, let's try this one again, the one in the corner. Let's do it this way and see if it will. Okay, that seemed to work better. A little bit squishy, but it did pick up better than the other ones that I tried in the corner. Let's try these uh, butterflies. Those pick up great. Let me try these music notes because of how they are. And that picked up and transferred perfectly. So 
all in all, I must say I am pretty pleased with these plates. A few images gave me issues. I noticed the majority of the issues were the ones that are up here in, in the corners and along some of the edges. So you have to kind of play around with how you scrape and the direction in which you scrape. So you might have to go horizontal instead of vertical, but, and then choose the roll method versus pressing straight down. But all in all, very good plates. I would recommend these for beginners. Um, like if you are not sure if you wanna do stamping or if you're gonna like it, um, I would recommend these because it's a nice comprehensive kit. You get enough a variety in designs, your stamper, your scraper, and I think these for $29, it's a really good price. So thanks for watching. Stay polished at all times. Let me know if you have any questions or wanna see a particular image and if you have it, what you think, or if you don't have it and would you buy it. Okay, so I forgot to show the stamping results here. So all in all, these came out pretty nicely. A couple of them had a few issues, but not bad. They still came out nicely. And yeah, so I would definitely recommend these plates and look forward to using these designs, especially that one. So thanks for watching. Stay polished at all times and have a great day.